is on. Hey, yo, Detroit, man, what's good? Detroit dog shit. Y'all know what time it is, the voice of Detroit. We in the building with Detroit Tone, Mass Movement, G Pitts, man, what's good? What's going on, man? What's the deal with you, brother? It's I'm chilling. glad to be here. I'm glad. No doubt, we happy to have you on. <clears throat> now, tell us a little bit, uh, you know, a little background history about yourself. Now, how long have you been rapping? Man, I'm not gonna lie to you. I've been rapping since I was like a, I would say anywhere from the where I could remember it, fifth to seventh grade and okay. stuff or whatever. But we've been um grinding for a real long time on the music thing. I've been involved with a whole lot of people. Um, as far as the music scene in Detroit, like I mean, I'm, I'm not one of them name dropper type of guys, but at the end of the day, I've been involved. No, 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 no. Give us a couple of names of some of the people that you work with. Um, I've worked with uh the likes of Young Skylar. I've worked with um I've worked with Big Gov. Um, before um, it's just it's just a lot of people that we've got an opportunity. We used to mess with Chastity used to, when she used to be down there at um yeah. at Disc Makers. No doubt. You know what I'm saying? Just moving around the city and just trying to um become one of those type of people that that's kind of like one of them people in the background. You can call me for for the hooks. You can call me to write a hook. You can call me to you know what I mean lay something and build on records or just being a part of the energy um no that's been flowing through the through the city. You know what I mean? No doubt. Yeah. So now. What got you involved in the rapping? Like, what motivated you? Um, I've been um, I've been been singing. I actually been singing before I was rapping. Oh, okay, um, okay. And, and through through my music or whatever, I I kind of incorporate you know what I mean my singing as much as possible too. But I've been singing oh. before I was rapping in church. I used to uh, yeah. go to New Mount Mariah Missionary Baptist, um, in okay. Pontiac. I used to be involved in choir and things of that nature in there, and that kind of like home me to have a love for music. And then my mom sings as well. Like she used to sing to me, you know what I mean? Before I before I even popped out the wound and then, you know what I mean? She used to sing Anita Baker to me and all that different type of stuff. So, you know what I mean? With that being said, it's just like something that's just been locked into me for forever. And I just kind of been trying to expound upon it. For sure, for sure. Now coming up in the music business, what were some of the obstacles you had to overcome in Detroit to kind of kick um, the doors down and get your foot into the door? Man, we're we still overcoming them, honestly. But um, that's really what, what mass movement is really being crafted upon. Um, when we run into young artists, or not even necessarily young artists, just people that we're dealing with who are looking for some type of um direction or the way that they would do their um do their thing or put it together. Cause we're not trying to take nothing from nobody. No doubt. It's a situation where if you were come to me, I would basically like I'm a, I would I consider myself a glorified middleman. No doubt. You feel me? Like I can reach out. I'm trying to lessen my six degrees of separation to where if somebody would come to me, I would be able to reach out to a person that could directly help you and what you're trying to facilitate for your, your situation yeah. and we we'll be able to co-tour that. So, Cause it was hard for me trying to figure out people to record you, trying to figure out people who would shoot your stuff in a professional manner so that when you put it out, your art would be, the, the stuff that you knew for a fact was good would be able to be portrayed to the world in that, in that way. Cause you know, we came from hand to hand. Yeah. Going down to Club Blue, you know what I mean? I was a part of U United Street Regime, USR. No doubt. So we used to go down to Club Blue, pass out our flyers, you know what I'm saying? Post up at everybody's parties, let people know what's going on, interacting and connecting with people. But you got people that, you know what I mean? As an artist, sometimes you're a little, a little more shy. Uh, you know what I mean? You really yeah. focus on the art. We'd like to be able to literally extend my relationship and be like, yo, I know you, you wouldn't usually do this, but believe in, in the fact that we got a relationship and I'm saying like, yo, this, this, no this nigga, he needs, you know what I mean, we gonna do this, no you doubt. feel me? So yeah, that's what, what really what mass movement has been crafted upon, just trying to um, work more or less on philanthropy and help some of the folks that was coming up along the way and make it an easier process no doubt. for them to put out their art. You know Indeed, what I mean? Indeed. Mm -hmm. so now tell us about some of your projects, upcoming projects, past <laughs> projects, what have we missed? What man, should man. Know, what should we start streaming right now that we've missed and with some of the upcoming projects? Okay, um, well, as far as what you should be streaming right now, I got a real uplifting song um called Okay to Dream. No doubt. That's on um on streaming platforms right now. It's rolling. Um, we actually just shot the video for it not long ago. We actually waiting on to get that back so that we can go ahead and start um working on branding that. You know what I mean? Reaching out, reaching out to people like you, just passing a good love word along and trying to figure out what your, your method is and, and locking into what you got going on as no well. But, um, but okay, the dream, we trying to put that together to get ready to release the video. Um, that's already been shot by my man, uh, my man, Finn, Finn Vision. 
sure. And um, yeah, we about to put that one out. Um, I have a record on there called Field It's just a real, you know I mean? I sent you the, sent you the no Field doubt, joint. No doubt. Um, oh yeah, Detroit, you know, I had to cut you off, Detroit. Yeah. We having a live performance from G Pitts today on this show, man. The big yeah. Halloween show, big Halloween performances. That's why I brought in the big time performance. Now go ahead, man. what was you saying? But yeah, but yeah, feel this is a feel this is one of the joints that I hold near and dear. It really came from a special place and time. Like I literally like the words that you're hearing on there is real. Like I really had lost my job. And me and my dog Skylar had locked in. And um, we was inside of my apartment creating, and that's what we came up with. And I really just wanted to push that record because it was real special to me. And um, I also have a project called Did It for Denver that I got when my um when my niece was born. I had stepped away from music for a little while, just trying to get my my particulars together. You gotta make sure your your home life in, in order yeah. before you get out here trying to take care of this because <laughs> exactly. you don't create your system at the crib. How are you supposed to be bossing and, and telling somebody what to do and exactly. then you go home and you don't got your stuff in order. So exactly. I had to step away and get those things in order and stuff like that or whatever. But that's what oh. that's what came out of it. I was still trying to birth things, you know. What I mean, I was in my spirit out of out of um out of my situation and that's what we came with but but did it for Denver I had my niece uh my brother had had my niece and I was inspired to step back into the realm of music and uh me and my man Mike Todd um kitchen table music you know what I mean he got a, a production company um over there on the east side kitchen table music and he he re uh, re recorded um a lot of the things that came out of did it for Denver and we just came out with that project and we got that out on the streaming platforms as well Indeed. so wherever you wherever you stream your music at um, YouTube, uh, iTunes, Spotify, um, shit. I, hey man, I even I heard about Skeezer. I didn't even know you know about the app Skeezer, bro. No. I wasn't even hit to the app, Ske app Skeezer. It's no, one of them apps where they kind of like they just have your joints on there. They be playing videos and all that different type of okay. stuff, whatever. But I was kicking it with one of the homies, and he had it on on that joint. You feel me? Like yeah. he was listening. I typed it in and it came up on there. So even on your on your Instagram, your Facebook, if you want to make a TikTok off my shit. No doubt. You know tell everybody. Now tell everybody yeah. where to go to on all these platforms. What what name to look for? Um, G dot Pits on all platforms. Um, oh. movers, mass, um, movers and shakers movement LLC on Instagram. You can go there. The links in my bio. It'll take you to my link tree. It has um all of the singles laid out, and then we're actually like kind of trying to put the site together to talk about some of the philanthropy that we're doing as well. Oh, um, because I just like tapped in with a, uh, my uh, my girl Jay on on, on our grind. And um, she got a coat drive that's going on that that mass movement no is doubt. about to get into. So we'll be collecting. I'm gonna reach out to you if you got some extra coats no or doubt. something like no that, doubt. whatever you feel me gently used and stuff. No doubt. We're gonna be um collecting those as well so okay. that we can show up at that event and show out. But um, okay, okay. But yeah, okay. man, tap a tap and tap the link in the bio. Mine is mass movement underscore pits. Okay. Um, and you can the link is in my bio there as well. You know what I mean? Follow oh. follow the page too. We doing a giveaway. We doing a merchandise giveaway right now. I actually got to uh, oh. make sure to tap in with you because okay. I got to get your sizes and make sure that we get you some mass movement apparel. No doubt, no you know, doubt. Indeed. So you already you know, know. Yeah, no, I'm knowing, bro. It's it's on the no floor, bro. No. I want your brand. You know what I mean? I'm gonna wear your brand across my chest no when we doubt. walk out here. If they ask me what's going on with it, I can explain to them. Hey, bro, he ain't even know who I was from a can of paint, and he, you know what I mean? He showed no love. Doubt. We put no it doubt. together, and you know what I mean? We getting it in right now. No and doubt, I appreciate no doubt. Oh, uh, Dave, I appreciate what you're doing for the city. That's what it's all about, pressing mm -hmm. the culture forward. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, before you go, I'm going to have to ask you some yes, Halloween sir. questions, and I ain't got shit to do. With okay, the it's love. But it's love. Halloween, here we go. I'm going to okay. run up and ask you quick. All right, first thing to come to mind. How old were you when you stopped trick-or-treating? Oh man, shit. I come from a church family. So we you already know we was uh at the church with the trunk or treating and um the hallelujah night and stuff like that. Whatever. So as far as me like wrapping it around my head that we really wasn't about to be extra extra in the bag, but we were still yeah. gonna participate. I think like maybe like like 10, 12. Okay. My mom's them like, okay, well, look, y'all about to get dressed up as 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 Jesus and Noah. And we, <laughs> you gonna be Jesus and Noah? You gonna be David? You know what I mean? I'm gonna be John the Baptist and stuff like that. You feel me? So you around ten, twelve. All right, yeah, no, sure. no, no. Yep. Have you ever snatched a bag of candy? No, I have never snatched a bag of candy. Man, I, I, Not gonna lie, but look though, I'm the oldest of so four. Uh huh. <laughs> And even my, my brothers, since they had their daughters and stuff like that, every time I come over the house, they got anything in their hand that I want to eat. Hey, yeah. look, 
I got to get 10% of your plate. You came to my family. I ain't come to your family. You came to my family, little girl. So whatever on your plate, you're going to give me 10% of what you got on your plate. So if, if, if the bros came in from school and they didn't celebrate at school or when we came back in from, you know what I mean, collecting candy from church or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, for sure, I got to hit your bag and get my... You know what I mean? I gotta get, I gotta get all the smarties out that joint. I gotta get all the milk. Hey, I swear that was the shit. That's what I was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Legit. Legit. All right, so now, have you ever been to a Halloween party? Yeah, 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 okay. for sure. Now, what um, were you dressed as? More recently, I actually just went to a Halloween party um, a couple weeks ago. My wife is real, real big into okay. um, Halloween and dressing up. She just feel like it's an opportunity for her to let her hair down. Cause we, exactly. you know what I mean? Like I'm kind of like stuck to the move a little bit. We try to stay yeah. in the lines of, of, of what we got going on and stuff like that or whatever. But when I went in there, crazy enough, <clears throat> I was the street Florida pharmaceutical person. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, look, though, no, I went in there with the dope man on. Yeah. And when I took the dope man off, I had um I had one of the jet the lab jackets on. Yeah. And I kept my I kept my beanie on and stuff like that or whatever. <laughs> you know what I mean? I was acting like I had a little, you know what I mean? We I get into what I get into and stuff no, like no, that. It's no, like, no. Uh, you know what I mean? I pass the cool things around. You feel me? Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so now what's your favorite horror movie? My favorite horror movie. Um like I said, it's all it's all her, bro. I promise you. No Saw, the Saw That's Jones. It. Yeah. I don't know if you got a hold of the, the the Saw uh situation, but the last one that Chris Rock was in. Yeah, yeah. With Samuel L. Jackson. No doubt. Yeah, Neff doing his thing. But uh, <laughs> but yeah, you know what I mean. The last one that um that he was in with Samuel L. Jackson. That one okay. was fire. I'm no gonna doubt. have to roll with him. No doubt. Now before we go, <clears throat> I didn't know you sing. So on the way out, give us hot four bars. Or just any type of hot notes off the top of your head. What I got, what I got for you. Um, oh man, oh man, you got me on the spot, bro. You got me on the spot. <laughs> I got this chant. I got this chant that I um that I wake up in the morning and and I sing it, whatever, and it's encouraging. I say, man, I swear to God that I'm bossing up. Yeah, check it out. I say that everybody in here knows so. Yeah, I said. Check it out now, man, I swear to God that I'm chasing change. Yeah. And everybody in here knows the game. what I say? I said, now baby, you can hate on me. Yeah, yeah. my baby, you can hate on me. Yeah. yeah, but look, but I won't reciprocate because it ain't in my pedigree, no, nah, no. Nah. <laughs> yeah. hate on me. Look, I told him you can hate on me, but I won't reciprocate. Because it ain't in my pedigree. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Hey, hey, hey right, that's man. that's streaming on the platforms too, man. That's called a Boston Up channel. This song did it for Denver, man. No, Check no, it out, no. man. Real no, rap. Shout bro. out, shout out, man. Did it for Denver. Hit them once, one more time where they can follow you at before we yep. go. Mass Movement underscore Pits on Instagram. Also, Movers and Shakers Movement LLC. Um, follow there. We're doing merch giveaways and things of that nature. Um. Click on the link tree. It'll let you know everything that we got going on. We updating daily. No doubt. Y'all heard it here first, Detroit, man. G motherfucking pits. Y'all stay tuned in for the live performance right after this interview, man. Happy Halloween. Don't forget to subscribe. Detroit yep. dog shit, man. Salute. I appreciate Salute. you. You, know you already know. One.